Welcome back to Mike's Archery. We're here at the 2020 ATA show, checking out all the new products and all the new innovations from this year. So stay tuned to all our videos this week as we bring you some of the latest stuff from the archery industry. Welcome back to the 2020 ATA show. We're here over at G5 and Prime, checking out their new bows. And Prime has got a whole new lineup for us this year with the Black Series. And we're gonna have Nate run us through some of the specs here at the factory and kind of give us a, a rundown of what's going on on these new bows. All right. Uh so we have a, a 39 to 31 inch offer and we have four new models. Um, this is the, the Black 3. Um, this is one of our more popular um, um, platforms. The 3 stands for the axle axle. So this is a 33 inch um, axle axle. It has six and a half inch brace height. Uh, new for us this year really is the cam system. That's the, yeah, the there biggest was a, story. There was a redesigned cam for this year. We, we've always been drawing specific. Um, we've gone to a, a, a new um, system. Uh, we still have the parallel cam system. We still feel that's the best to control horizontal knock travel. Um, but what we did is uh, we split the cable uh, system. We actually have five tracks total now. But what that allows us to do is have a rotating mod is the big thing. Perfect. So it's not draw link specific. This goes from 31 all the way down to 25 inches uh, right here. So it's a, a big deal for customers coming in. You know you're gonna be able to get that. I know from a pro shop standpoint, we love that. The consumer may not understand how much we love that, yeah. but that allows us to stock one bow, fit anybody almost that walks in the door, and, right. and that's a fantastic feature uh, that you were able to integrate into the system. The other advantage that we were able to do is we were kind of limiting before yeah, right. what we would be able to get in a draw cycle, because the front and the, the back is technical, but they were tied together, and so we could we could do one thing, so we do one good thing in the front, and the, we'd get something bad in the back side. Now they're, they're completely separate, so we finally feel like we have the, the perfect draw cycle for us that we've always wanted to do. Awesome. And, and that's some of the feedback that we're getting from guys shooting it, is just how smooth, and we were able to up the efficiency so the speeds are all bumped up a little bit. Okay, where is this bow coming in out of speed? Uh, I believe this bow is uh, the, right around uh, the 338, okay. 340 mark. So upper three, almost yep. 340. Good speeds, then. Okay. Yep. especially have a 33 action axle. Yep. Okay, uh, and then that, that bow right there is the 35, the other popular bow, so it's 35 inches axle axle, six inch brace. And so this is, uh, I believe, like right around the, the low 340s. Okay. Um, so actually getting a little more speed out of your longer bow then? Yeah, because of the six inch brace height. Okay, yeah, yeah so that brings it up, up there. So same cam system, obviously? Yep, same cam system through the whole line. Beautiful. Looks really good, guys. Coming in a ton of colors, obviously, we saw the, the green and the black. And all the latest camel patterns as Absolutely. well. Absolutely, some, some gore optifade stuff there, so mix and match these and make them look really good. So they've got shorter options, they've got a 39 option if you're looking for a really long bow on that target side. But man, the new stuff from G5 Prime, especially this new cam, we're going to go over and take a couple shots on the range with it, uh, just see how it feels. But uh, a great lineup, mate. I, I appreciate your help running yeah, through these today. Me. We stepped over here on the lane with uh, Prime and we're checking out. Uh, the Black Series here, the Black 5. We're going to take a couple shots out of it, kind of get a feel for it. Uh, they actually had a 70-pound bow on the range, which I shoot all the time, so I, I do like that. Uh, usually at these shows, you can't find one that heavy, so we'll just uh, kind of see what this thing does and how it feels on the shot. So overall, good feel. It's pretty smooth coming back. It does have a little bit of a drop off there at the back. Uh, as you get the full draw, you can kind of feel it settle in. It is rock solid on the back end though. Doesn't have a limb stop. It is using uh, a form of a cable stop in this bow. Uh, this being a little different cam system than everybody else on the market with this dual track system. It, it rolls in there, but it sits really, really solid when it comes over. And uh, it's a little bit of drop off at the back, but not bad at all. Pretty smooth overall, especially for 70 pounds. Um, these bows, you know, they're set up on minimally here with no no vibration dampeners or anything on them other than what comes from the factory. And uh, there was a little twinge in the hand, but uh, nothing that a little stabilizer isn't going to take out. But overall, just a great feeling bow and uh, just sitting real good there in your hand and, and feeling really good. So we're going to step over and grab a, a, C, uh, a Black 3, I believe, and uh, see how that one feels as well. So we're getting ready to shoot the, uh, the Black 3. They just set this one for the draw length for me, and it's also a 70-pounder. Uh, we'll get a 
kind of feel for how it is. Uh, just holding the hand, it feels a little heavier than some of the other bows we shot, but uh, I'm sure you're going to get that, especially with the extra cams up here and the extra stuff going on uh, in that system. It's going to add a few more ounces, but let's get a shot here and see how it feels. So overall, just like the uh, the Black Five, I mean, good feeling bow, um, coming over real solid and sitting really solid in the hand. Uh, I think G5 has done some great things. Uh, we do like that module adjustment in there. Uh, that's just going to be great for us working with the customer and being able to use this bow uh, to fit anybody we can. But overall, uh, Prime's got a, a great lineup here and something you need to check out. Uh, if you've not shot this system before, it has some tunability things that you can really do with this bow that are a little different than others. So check out the new Prime stuff uh, and the new Black series that they've got going on for 2020. Thanks for tuning in, guys. Be sure to hit that subscribe button. Always give us some likes and comments in the section below, as well as follow us on all the social media with Facebook and Instagram.